Hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. So today, if you haven't seen the title, if you haven't read the thumbnail, if you can't tell by the room and my shirt, we are continuing on, in and on, season one of Loki. This is episodes three and four, one and two went up last week, so here's the intro. Um, Loki got caught by the Time Lords, apparently, um, and he's in trouble. But they need Loki's help to catch himself. But then we saw this blonde lady at the end who planted all these little time bombs. And we saw that whatever she was doing, whoever she is, is that a sister? I don't know. Is that Loki in a different form? I don't know. But she set off all these different time bombs and it split the sacred timeline. We saw everything and that's how episode two ended. So I don't know who she is. I don't know really what's going on. I mean, other than... They're clearly, you know, gods and goddesses of mischief. So is she just doing this to cause problems, to cause a stink? Is there a greater purpose to this? I don't know. So no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's Wednesday TV show. It's Loki season one, episodes three and four. Gods of Asgard, one and the same, drunk with power. I'm gonna mute the mic real quick so I can shake this. The TVA brought in to hunt me down. Every time they say TVA, I only think about the Tennessee Valley Authority. Ooh. Something that'll take it all away from me. This is a fun little song. We could do potato skins or buffalo fingers. Why not both, girl? Do you know how many times the health department has closed this place down? Isn't that the girl we saw? The hostage and the female Loki, I guess? So your memories are literally frozen in place. No, yeah, I believe that. I believe it. How many people are guarding the timekeepers? Sorry, what? Girl, you can't just sneak in that question. Seriously, though, you know you can tell me anything, right? Of course. Was she manipulating reality? Yeah, you're probably just tired. She's not manipulating reality, she's manipulating her memories! <laughs> yeah, we're code red at the TVA, huh? Oh, she couldn't, she couldn't take him. Possess him, I guess. Girl, pruning people only makes the splintering worse! She, she probably doesn't care about that. There's the gold- Oh, she broke an arm! She broke an arm! Nice! A few questions. Have you really got nothing else better to do? <laughs> You're in my way. You are my way. Oh, you better watch out, Loki, because hers is bigger than yours. <laughs> so why do you come willingly? She still has a sword, Loki! What a stupid thing you've done! Hey! Oh, oh! Come any closer and I'll kill him. Go for it. You better stop, girl. Oh, he helped him escape that moment. Got it. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Ain't that just like technology? So he's got his powers back, which that's great. Any tech savvy, Loki. Don't ever call me that. Well, then who are you? was that? Lamentus one? What is what is this place? This is a different planet. What? This is Lamentus one. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Me either, Loki. No one makes it up here. Watch out! You have a favorite apocalypse? <laughs> so we're a team now. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Wow. 
Why are you looking at him like that, girl? Y'all might be brother and sister. What? What's happening? What's he doing? <laughs> I'm really about to do this here again. <laughs> Great question, Loki. Where do you have it hidden? In my heart. Well, then I'll cut it out. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I mean, sure. That too. <laughs> at least Loki can admit it. That's good. The plan you interrupted was years in the making. But what was the plan for? There's power somewhere on this moon. We just need enough of it to travel through interdimensional Why does she space. have one horn broken on her little headpiece? And can you shut up? Just because I have to work with you doesn't mean I want to hear your voice. Well, he's a talker, so you picked a bad one. Don't call me variant. What can we call you then? Good, because that's not who I am anymore. I'm Sylvie now. Sylvie? Okay. What exactly makes a Loki a Loki? Mischief. Style. So naturally- She has all of those things. I'd never have done that. Yeah? Well, I'm not you. Oh, good point, good point. 12 hours or so, things down here are only gonna get worse. Oh, well that's not reassuring. That doesn't make me feel good. Okay, hand it over. <laughs> mm, I don't trust her. Requires a massive power source, not a nightlight. Oh, well how is he supposed to know? We got two tricksters tricking each other at the same time. Brute force is no substitute for diplomacy and guile. That's a great point. <laughs> Too bad she didn't listen. It's remarkable that you ever made it as far as you did. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah, you did, girl. Weary travelers. Sure you are. We just need to charge our little pad thing real quick and we'll be done. Loki, this is a risky move. Hello, dear. Pretending to be her husband? I feel like this could backfire hard. You're as beautiful as I That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Patrice never said a thing that nice in 30 years. <laughs> Which one was that? Diplomacy? Don't. Or... <laughs> I love these two together. Where is everyone? The Ark. Like Noah's Ark? But you'll never get a ticket. I didn't realize people on the moon would have southern accents, but I like it. Okay, so some people are not gonna make it on the Ark, that's obvious. Have him lead us through the crowd, and if anyone gives us any trouble... Then you fight! How do it look? Like someone with a shit plan. It's a great plan. Hmm. <laughs> Lower your helmet. Sir, this... Everything okay? Oh, good job, good job, good job. I just remembered that. See, look what happens when you work together. Yo, moon fashion is something else, huh? Well, I never sit with my back to a door. What? There are doors on both sides. <laughs> and getting on a train is just doing a thing. Okay, but now, part two is finding out how the power on the tip pad. Someone taught you fairly decent magic. My mother. <laughs> He's a god! Are you not? She was, um... Beautiful. Are you sure she was your mother? <laughs> what? They told you? Yeah. Did they not tell you? No. So she is a Loki. So they are the same. Because I can do anything. You can do anything you set your mind to. <gasps> That's what I would do if I had magic. I would do that all the time. Sounds like she does. Did. Past tense, she did. You taught yourself that magic? Yeah, I did. Really? How? Wouldn't really, it be easier if I just shoot? Enchanted me and make you do Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, girl. Oh, I'll take us. Thank you. Me and Loki are the same person. She was in love. Mm, she hated him. Maybe love is hate. Does that mean you all love each other? Is there a lucky bow waiting for you? Yeah, there is actually. Oh, tell me more. And with charm like that, who could resist you? <laughs> Would be princesses? Or perhaps another prince? Inclusion! Happy Pride! 
but nothing ever real. Mm. Love is. Go on. Uh, something I might have to have another drink to think about. I don't know if they're brother and sister or if they're the same person. I don't know. You relax your way and I'll relax mine. In which way is that, Loki? Yo, that's so scary. When she sings, she sings, come home. Men cry and dance in the park. Ah, Loki got a little tipsy in his party and hard. <laughs> oh, Loki, oh, Loki, you done did yourself a mischief. Loki is having some kind of experience, and I'm not really sure what that experience is. <laughs> I want to party with Loki. Another! Ooh, ooh, we might need to calm down if we're breaking glasses. I'm just full, but bear in mind, I'm very full. Very full of alcohol. But Where's your uniform? We're meant to be laying low. Nobody cares. Partying hard is not gonna lay low. I saw some people looking at you weirdly. What? <laughs> Loki's toasted. To be wielded far away or up close. What? It isn't real. Wow, what a beautiful thing. It doesn't make sense, does it? No, terrible metaphor. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> stay cool. Oh, stay, she told you. Wow, good job. Hey. Oh, you know it's serious when the little head thingy comes off. We are causing all this trouble and still have not charged the little tip pad. <laughs> Too close. Oh, that sucks. Oh no, that double sucks! That's not ideal. Give me the- mm. Okay. What does having the temp pad do for anything? Because the one thing you needed to charge it with is gone. You asshole. You killed but us! Maybe we can fix it. And now the temp pad is broken. I don't think you can fix it, Loki. That's what I do. I'm hedonistic. I don't know what that word means. Been there, girl. Been there, done that. I feel you. I do the same thing when I get upsetty spaghetti. I mean, we really do got to figure out how to get off this moon because it really is going to be destroyed. Scream make you feel better? <laughs> you should try it sometime. You really should. It's a good time. It releases a lot of stress. Well, the entire moon is destroyed, right? Yep, and everyone on it is killed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're on it, currently. Mm-hmm. The Ark never leaves because it's destroyed. What? So what, we hijack the Ark and make sure it gets off this moon. So the people on the Ark just died comfortably? Is that what that means? What if you enchanted me and you could walk for both of us? <laughs> Alright, how does it work? It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. I want to know how it works. Worried, are you? I just need to know if I can trust you. You can't? She's a you! And I have to create a fantasy from their memories. Oh, which is what she had to do with the guard lady from the drink in the, earlier in the episode. I see. I had to pull a memory from hundreds of years prior. Hundreds of years? A regular person. Love margaritas. Same. That's ridiculous. They're all variants, just like us. Oh! Because this is gonna suck. Thank you for that reassurance. Really appreciate it. This kind of looks like the little village that you play in when you play the game Stray. Oh, oh, we better hurry. We better get it going, cause there that happens. Oh, ooh. ooh. Didn't get hit, but got knocked back. I'm glad she finally got rid of her capes because like Edna Mode says in The Incredibles, no capes. Oh, y'all better go. Y'all better run away. Oh, no. I'm <laughs> Scare me. Y'all got 
gotta go, go, go. Well, what do we do? <gasps> well. Well, now what? Now what? That's how this episode ends? It's just we're on a planet that's going to be destroyed? Are you kidding me? Dark moon. Okay, no in credit scene. Um, let's talk about it. All right, so we now know her name is Sylvie, or that's her alias that she likes to go by, and she keeps saying like, I can't, I don't understand. Is she, are they the same? Are they brother, sister? Is this just like, because, because they were talking about moms and <sighs> she was also adopted and she was like, I knew like early on you didn't. He was like, no, nobody told me. So like, <sighs> are they the same, but different? Are they not the same at all? I don't understand. And, um, oh, bigger than that. They're now on a planet that's going to get destroyed. They didn't make it to the ship on time. So, uh, we don't have the tent pad. Don't know how we're going to get up. I don't know how we're going to solve anything. With the TVA, let, I don't even know how we're gonna get off this planet. So, right on into episode four. People have been asking for proof of life for beans. There she is. She's here. She's still very much alive. She loved to play with a piece of trash. Look at her playing with trash. <laughs> Where is this now? that defeats the dragon and saves Asgard. Oh, we're on Asgard now, okay. There's our variant. What? This little kid? For crimes against the sacred timeline. She's a child! <laughs> like, she is a child! She didn't do anything! Next case. Good for you, girl. I'd fight back, too. Oh, she's a smart kid. Good for you, girlfriend. Sylvie is the variant that you lost? And now you gotta answer for your mistake in front of the timekeepers? What? What if they're not real? What if they're like made up or something? I don't know. I'm intrigued. Under the best of circumstances, it's jarring to stand before the timekeepers. I bet. Yeah, but they can't blame you. Do you have any idea how impossible it is to keep the timeline stable? It sounds awful. It sounds like continuous work forever. Over and over. I need to find out what that meant. Was she talking about her life before the timekeepers? She could have information. She's I... dead. Mobius. What? Who killed her? The timekeepers. But by the time she got in here, she could barely speak. The decline was steeper after that. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I mean, Sylvie, yeah, when you know the outcome, there's no use in panicking. You just kind of sit back and let the apocalypse, hap apocalypse happen, you know? I remember Asgard. Not much, but I remember. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Like me being born the goddess of mischief. Hey! I was just a child. And why did Loki get to survive and live his life? That sucks. Everywhere and every when I went caused a Nexus event. And so they just followed you from event to event. And so that's where I grew up. Any apocalypse? Leaping across time, plotting their next massacre. Actually, just accepting their incoming death, actually. Any news on C20? No. <gasps> you better be honest! There's too many secrets. Not wrong now. Okay, but at least this apocalypse is beautiful, you know? At least it's not like a hurricane or something. It's pretty colors. We're destined to lose. So you are a Loki. Look at her touching you and not trying to enchant you. Okay, you know what? It was pretty before all that, but if I saw all that coming to me, I would simply be pooping my britches. So they're not brother and sister. They are each other? Yo, that branch going straight up. Immediately to the red line. Go! Go, go, go! Don't question!
questioned it, just go. Oh. But then y'all got arrested, so maybe you should have questioned it. By the way, I should have an equal amount of security. This is insulting. <laughs> Grow up. Grow up. Your mom. Backstabbing. He's kind of an asshole and a bad friend. And somehow that stings worse. TVA is lying to you. Oh, good job, Loki, but he's not gonna believe you. <laughs> Where'd they put you? You. Oh, who are you? You did this. What? Ow. Oh. A bad memory prison? How quaint. <laughs> A bad memory prison. <laughs> so this is an X. Got it. And a glass of wine. And I never thought about it again. I bet this is on replay here, isn't it? You. Huh? You conniving, dreaming, <laughs> pathetic worm. Forever and ever and ever destined to be need in the balls. Time loops. How lovely. Again, again, again. You. Woo! <laughs> nope. Okay, good. Balls. Balls. She's just too dangerous. Too dangerous. And you yeah. lost the first one or the other one. Nobody speaks with that variant. Oh, oh, yeah. Y'all are friends, but there's still a power a chain of authority. She in there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gonna go interview her anyway? Why is it the two orphan demigods are such a pain in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> so the TVA is lying to me. Oh. Does she know something that he don't know? I, I'm a horrible person. I get it. I'm glad you're learning. I'm a, I'm a narcissist. Wow, character development. <laughs> Did this actually change things or is she setting him up? I don't know. Oh, hey, he changed it. He changed it by being honest and apologizing. and hoping to see if he'll come downstairs and let beans out so I don't have to pause this. Okay, you said the TVA's lying to me. Go ahead. No, oh, he's open to hearing it, Loki, do it. Just so you can turn around immediately afterwards and prune me. Oh, but Loki, you gotta help yourself. I'm gonna miss these little tete tets Me too. tete tets I've never heard that. Of course it was me pulling the strings all along. So now he's going to lie about lying in order to get Mobius to trust him again. Well, we saved you the trouble there. She's already been pruned. <gasps> no, what? It looks like you're the superior Loki. No way. They didn't do that. They didn't do that. Both of you are just swooning over Mobius. each other, I guess. That's the Nexus event, Mobius. What a incredible seismic narcissist. Oh yeah, to fall in love with yourself, that's valid. I.E. or just an I? Is she alive? Oh yeah, okay, she's still alive. Woo! Wait, you're your female self and you have some demented crush on <laughs> Valid, valid. They kidnapped you from the timeline and erased your memories. And then made you work here. Because I don't need you anymore. <gasps> of all the liars in this place, you're the biggest. No, I think the timekeepers are the biggest. I mean the lies you tell yourself. Ooh. Okay, see, she knows. She knows because Sylvie enchanted her. She doesn't know who to talk to about this. That's what it is. That's what it is. Open the door. She's gonna go get Sylvie? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come with me. Getting help from the inside, even if it ain't Mobius. Mobius? What is it? I couldn't read it, it was too far away. Case closed. Beans, you yelled, he came and got you, you didn't leave, and you're yelling again. You're not getting out. Cats, man. I can go anywhere, anytime. You know what I mean. <laughs> Good point by Mobius. Why wouldn't you let me interrogate Sylvie? Cause you messed up the first one? The other variant got away during your first interrogation, didn't it? She has a good point, Mobius. I like being here now, with you, doing the work. Aw, that's sweet. They want to personally oversee the variant's pruning. They want you there, too. What? This seems a little sus. 
We did it. I know. The timekeepers are happy. Yes. Mission accomplished. Yeah, so now we can just go over the details if you want to. Fine. You want the truth? Yes, please. I'm trying to protect you. From what? The variant scares the hell out of me, and I didn't want to see anything happen to you. Mmm, I don't trust her. We're also fighting for this. Friends against time. Ooh, he just got friend zoned. <laughs> he just got friend zoned for all time. I'm worth fighting for. What happened to Owen Wilson's nose? What you got, Mobius? Mmm, uh, switching out the tent pads, got it. How's that? It's good there. Let's finish this. For all time. Always. I'll see you. Ooh, that's a good little quote for all time, always. Ah, you wanted a fair fight. I respect that. I don't think she's fighting. I can't create memories. Only access them. With a safe. You all did something that you're not supposed to do. I want to know what she's seeing. Let me see what she's seeing, please. I looked happy. Oh, stop it. Never mind. I don't want to see because I'll cry. So he's going to see where she's been to recently. Is that what he's doing? Oh, he's checking in on C20. She's really dead for real, for real? I think it's TVA. This was a memory. Oh, her testifying about what she saw. It's her. It's her. Yeah, it's your little boo thing. Yeah, she's in on this. She knows. Look at Loki's little booty. You really think you deserve to be alone? You told me to shut up. <laughs> Bring this whole place down so we better understand. We? Yeah, y'all are partners now. How about the word of a friend? <sighs> y'all are besties. Whatever you want to be, even someone good. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, everybody. Oh, so y'all found out about this. What's the problem, Ravonna? She knows. She knows. You know where I go? If I could go anywhere, wherever it is I'm really from. Oh, good answer. Good answer. That's what I'd like to do. Just riding around on my jet ski. Prune him. <gasps> what? Just like that, gone? Wait for me at the elevator. So she knows about this and is just okay with it? She has no questions about her own personal timeline before the TVA took her? Like, what is that sense of loyalty? Who are the timekeepers and why do they think that their way is the correct one? Who was in here with her? Ooh, a lot of people knowing. A lot of people know, girl. Hey, look, it's you two together again. I've got them from here. By yourself? You have the two Lokis in control by yourself from here? Oh no, y'all are going to the timekeepers. Y'all are going to the timekeepers. Do you remember me? I do. From your time before? Why did you bring me in? What does it matter? Because you're about to prune her? I don't remember. What? You piece of dump. Gracious timekeepers. As promised. Are they real? Are they real? I've lost track of the number of times I've been killed. So go ahead. All right, Loki. Brave some, some brave things to say. I think. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's happening? Yeah! Here we go. Here we go. For all time. Always. Wow, and they really just gonna sit in their little seats and not even like, try to do nothing. Nice, good job. Ooh, ooh. We having a showdown between these two. I'm excited about this. Meanwhile, Loki is fighting for his life between two of them. Ooh. Oh, oh, 
Oh, who got stabbed? Okay, Loki's oh, safe. Um, so the Tom Keeper's just letting this happen. <laughs> Robot? 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 They weren't real. They weren't real! I was right, it's like the Wizard of Oz! Then who created the TVA? Great question, Loki. Not another pep talk, please. <laughs> this is new for me. I'm being a good guy. Excuse me? Ex excuse me? Ex excuse me? Excuse me? Do it, Sylvie, why are you waiting? Do it! Of course this is where this episode ends. Of course it is. Of I think there's an in credit scene at the end of this one, for real, for real. <sighs> hey Loki, where'd you go? Where'd you go? This is hell. <laughs> Great question. But you will be, unless you come with us. <laughs> Who's talking? Who are those people? Who are those people? Wow, okay, well. Let's talk about it. Okay, so Sylvie... I don't want to say is a variant because we've been told that, but Sylvie is literally him from a different time. So they're the same person, but they're not the same person. And so now everybody who works at TVA is actually just another person who made a mistake in the timeline. And so then they just snatched them up, erased their memories, and now they're enforcing it always. And what did I tell y'all? I told y'all in episodes ones and two, <laughs> ones and two. <laughs> episode one and two that I bet this is some kind of wizard of Oz pay no attention to the man behind the curtain kind of vibe and then wouldn't you know it chop the head off android who are the people in that mid credit scene is that the Avengers in the non-sacred timeline is that what that is that kid had an alligator what's that about <sighs> and is Mobius gone forever and if Loki got pruned and ended up at somewhere else, then that means nobody's actually dead. They just get put... Do they get put in the timeline that would have happened had they not been grabbed by the timekeepers for the sacred timeline? This is, you know, this is a lot of thinking. This is a lot of thinking for my little two brain cells in here. So anyways, uh, fun fact for you. I'm actually going to binge the rest of this today. Filming Ashley is going to watch episodes five and six Right now, you're going to have to wait until next Wednesday to see episodes five and six of season one of Loki. What's coming up on the channel? Good question. We got the rest of James Bond coming up on Fridays for June, okay? So that means so that means we got Diamonds Are Forever this Friday. Next Friday, the 21st, is Live and Let Die. And that means the 28th is The Man with the Golden Gun. Of course, next Wednesday is Loki episodes five and six. As far as Monday goes for the rest of June, I got polls up on Patreon right now. If you want to throw in your two cents on what I watch and when I watch, it. Other than that, I hope you like, subscribe, stick around, take your meds. Love you. Bye.